My name is Paul Lee. I'm a civil engineering associate with the Power Systems at the Los Angeles Department of Water and Power. I'm with the Utility Skills Renewables Group with the Power Systems. Our group's primary function is to plan and develop these large-scale renewable projects such as large-scale wind, solar farms, geothermal facilities. All of those types of renewable resources are, is what our group helps to develop and bring that energy from wh wherever it may be into the city of Los Angeles. I went to UCLA as an undeclared engineering major because I had no idea what I wanted to do. I was walking around the building with my friend and there were some, some seniors and they were, they were cutting and welding steel and they just kind of like ushered us into the, into the lab like, hey, you guys want to help us grind some steel? We really need some help. And it was the Steel Bridge Project with the American Society of Civil Engineers, the, the student chapter. I, I was allured by the people because the people were amazing. They were the most ambitious, friendly group of people that I've ever met. So I was really curious as to how I can make a positive impact. How could I have a career in sustainability? I got my master's in civil engineering at University of California, Berkeley, with an emphasis on energy and climate. After I finished my master's program, I was very open to trying out new positions to see what else there was out there in the world. I always intended to come back to the department at some point in my career, because I knew I wanted to work on projects at the scale that the department works on. Something that I find very exciting about working at LA Water and Power is, is the opportunity to see all of these new technologies emerging to reach 100% clean energy. Within our group, we have a very collaborative process. So everyone gets assigned their own, their own projects, but we, we routinely meet. In fact, everyone just kind of sits next to each other. So we're, we're able to bounce ideas off of each other constantly. So obviously wind and solar, geothermal, hydro, biomass, these are pretty established technologies. But nowadays we're seeing a whole new wave of technologies emerging or, or different ways to, to integrate or, or look at these renewable technologies. There are a lot of projects in the pipeline. We've got projects lined up for the next 15, 20 years or so. I'm very interested in pursuing these projects because it seems as though, as an engineer, these are the types of projects you live for. These, and the Beacon Solar Project became that project that, that I'm super proud of. The Beacon Battery Project is the first utility-scale battery system that the department has integrated into their system. So Beacon initially was just designed to be a regular, uh, large-scale solar facility. And somewhere along the line, our, our, our department thought it'd be a good idea to implement a battery system because it's a, it's a new technology and we really do need it to integrate more renewables. So right when I joined, they were, they were putting up the last of the panels of the 250 megawatt solar facility. And then they were, they were actually breaking ground to install this battery system. Sometimes it really blows my mind at just how much we're able to, to impact people's lives. The lights at everyone's homes, the, their TVs, you know, their, their cell phones, it's all powered thanks to the department. And not only are we powering it, but we're, we're, we're taking these efforts to power it with clean, sustainable, environmentally friendly sources of power. When, when I'm not at work, I'm always exploring some sort of new hobby. I don't know, for some reason, I've always been kind of into performance. So I, I, played, I played music, I played guitar, I was part of a band. Like in high school, me and my buddies were break dancers. Like in, in college, I was part of like hip hop dance teams. I go rock climbing. Yeah, mostly like physical activities that, that I can kind of explore. So CrossFit is kind of like my current hobby. So the exercise is fun, <laughs> but it's mostly like the community that I had really enjoyed. So aside from work, I'm, I'm involved with the American Society of Civil Engineers. I've actually been involved with ASC ever since, ever since college. So the Steel Bridge project that, that got me into civil engineering, it was, a, it was an ASCE project at the time. I'm, I'm really involved with Popsicle Stick Bridge Competition with ASCE. We, we invite a bunch of high school students and we, we challenge them to build a bridge out of Popsicle Sticks. And, and, and we challenge them to, to think like engineers. Within ASC, I'm also the chair of the Student Night Job Fair. It's a, it's a part one career fair and a part two awards banquet. And 
students. So, so this event is, is dedicated to helping students get jobs in engineering and also award them for outstanding work in, in their civil engineering fields. What I love most about being an engineer is, is having the tools to solve problems and actually getting to solve those problems.